Hello and welcome to GXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is an aircraft stall, what happens during a stall and how to recover from a stall. In this video, we will use a Cessna 172 aircraft. First, let's see what can cause an aircraft to stall. The Cessna 172 aircraft does not have a fly-by-wire system, so the inputs given by the pilot are directly sent to the control surfaces through cables and pulleys. An aircraft will most likely stall when flying at low thrust settings and at high angles of attack. So first, let's reduce the thrust by reducing the engine's RPM. As the speed reduces, the aircraft's altitude also starts to decrease. Now let's increase the pitch angle of the aircraft. With this, the speed reduces further because of an increase in drag. As the pitch is increased, there is an increase in the angle of attack of the wing. If we keep increasing the pitch angle, the angle of attack reaches a certain angle called as the stall angle. Above this angle, the flow over the top surface of the wing begins to separate, leading to a sudden loss of lift and a severe decrease in the speed. An aircraft stall is extremely dangerous and can even lead to an accident. So on most aircraft, alerts are triggered before an aircraft is about to stall. These alerts may be oral or visual alerts in the cockpit or a stick shaker informing the pilots to reduce the pitch angle of the aircraft. To recover from a stall, the thrust has to be increased and the angle of attack has to be reduced. This is done by decreasing the pitch angle which will improve the flow across the wing and prevent an aircraft stall. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.